Okay, cool. So, I brought my knife. Got your safety knife. Got some batteries. So we're just gonna we're just gonna go for it and cut all the tape off so we don't tear the box too much. It's like a welding table that just keeps spinning. Yeah, I hear you, man. Okay. I like to keep the boxes nice too. <laughs> yeah, I try to. This one came a little messed up, but uh, but I can live with that. So we're gonna get rid of you for now. I'll even turn that off so it's not an annoying sound in the background. Okay. All right. Yeah, I do like to keep the boxes as nice as possible, um, just in case. Not like I'm. I don't think I'm gonna keep the box, but. Yeah, but you know, you never know in case they, if there's a need to repack or anything like that. Hey, who knows? Maybe even something with the inside of the box is real nice, too, that you want to keep it. Right, right, exactly. And and it's always these little ears that get me. Like the little, the little push-in ears that we always rip yeah. off. <laughs> exactly. But yeah, I'm really, I mean, this has been, like I said, I don't usually buy retail um, toys. I like my bargains, but this one, I just couldn't, I just couldn't do it. I had to have it. Okay, there's the bottom. Okay. I think I'm opening this a little weird, but it's all right. It's all good. You got it like displaying. It's yeah. nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I wasn't, I wasn't sure how the, how it was going to come out. So I made sure to, uh, okay, and then we're just going to. Leave most of the box intact. We were gonna try to anyway. Okay. So you can go away for now. And this is what we're left with. I'm gonna bring this down just a smidge. Okay. Taped in down here too. Got that thing nice and secured in there. Yeah, they do. I've, well, the funny <laughs> thing is, I've never unboxed like a brand new one because it's always been like a rebox or like they threw the box back in yep. after they opened it or whatever. So I've never really unboxed one. So I've never had to go to this depth before. So this is something fun and new and different. Okay. So what else we got going on down here? All right, so and that is it. Bring the spinner back over, dude. It looks so good. Oh my god, that looks so good. It looks so good. I'll spin you. Okay, so that is basically what we're looking at. Is that like, does it have weathering there in yeah. the creases? Yeah. Oh, that is just perfect. Just a smidgy. There we go. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, the weathering looks great. There's a little bit here, a little bit there. And now I'm actually going to pull out the manual for a second and see where the batteries go. Oh, that's cool. It's a tap to talk, so you push right there. Oh, that's sick. To change the voice. Okay, I got a Phillips screwdriver here. That's actually perfect. 
because when you see the clones communicate to each other over their comms, right, that's where they touch. Right, that's how they. Yeah, that's a, yeah. <laughs> so let's see. I, I just I just geeked out in inside. I just went all kid mode right here. You just went all geek right there. <laughs> okay, let's see where we're looking for battery compartment. Let's see here. Oh, there's that chain. Yep. But yes, this is, I mean, it's the same as every other helmet, which is awesome. Gaming headsets, I tell you. Okay, so let's we see. Got, we got a request from the crowd. What's that? What's that? <laughs> oh, yes, yes. I will absolutely do it. Okay, so let's see. Where are you? Oh, it's on the side. Where? Oh, it's on the back. Oh, that's clever. Okay. So the battery compartment is different than most other helmets, right? Because most other helmets here on the side, right here, this is where the batteries usually go. But this one goes on the back, according to the instructions. Interesting. Yeah, I was yeah. almost thinking it was going to be on the inside, like right where the mouthpiece is. No. No, yeah, me too, but it's not. So let's see how this comes off. Don't wanna... Oh, that was easy. Okay. So here, real easy. Here you just pop this up from the back. And it the battery compartment's exposed. I like that. Then you. Well hidden, well protected. Easy to get to. Easy to get to. That's yeah. the thing. Like other other ones were not as easy to get to. And so are, are not as easy to find. That screw's a little tight. Okay. I have to go get a better screwdriver. I will be right back. Keep the kids entertained. Will do. May the force be with you. Guys, this thing is absolutely gorgeous I and mean, looking even just this front on view that we're seeing right now the design of the paint the ahsoka style paint it, it's purposely done that way where it was it was hand done right these clones customized their helmets to honor ahsoka their former commander that they went to battle with so many times and that's one of the most emotional moments in the clone wars in my opinion that that season seven was was absolutely beautifully done and the moment you see all these clones with this helmet with that hand-painted design honoring their former commander i mean this, i mean leia says it perfectly right here just wow it's it's gorgeous okay so three triple a batteries this time going for the trio I don't remember. Did they show the helmets in the season seven trailer for Clone Wars? Um, no, they, I don't. I don't, think so. I don't remember that. If they did, that's unfortunate because what a spoiler. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, you can hear it turn on. Listen. Yep. That's awesome. You hear the like the radio kind of like. Yeah, yeah. Like, the radio creaks on. Oh, I love All it. All right, I'm gonna jump to the other one. Let's go. Uh, 